Hi, we're the Ohio Guys, and today we're at Annie Moore in Baltimore, Maryland with Felicia and Jill. How are you doing today, Felicia? Hey, I'm doing really well, waiting on the snowpocalypse. Oh yeah, we're, I think we're supposed to get like, what, two feet of snow here Maybe this weekend? Maybe three. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, what was it like working in this industry today? see um, the industry today is at a really interesting pivotal point um, specifically over at Funimation with the advent of the broadcast dub so um, we're getting things out much more quickly uh, than I think I've ever even thought that we could uh, being a fan back in the day um, so it's been hectic and a little stressful but super exciting and I'm really interested to see how things are going to progress over the next few years it's definitely awesome. They're definitely like pioneers into a whole new way of dubbing, yeah. essentially. Yep, we're we're at the ground floor of it, kind of being guinea pigs, but it's all <laughs> it all is working out. So that's awesome to hear. Um, what would you say is one of your favorite animes that you've worked on? That I've worked on. Oh, uh, I've I've always got to go back to this one because it gets very little play. Uh, is the Rolling Girls, which was a broadcast up back. Uh, last January with uh, Colleen Clinkenbeard uh, and Clifford Chapin directing and it's just super fun it's got a ton of heart it's a coming-of-age road trip story uh, and it just was super sweet and sparkly and I loved it. Awesome. Um, what was it like working on Assassination Classroom? Assassination Classroom was a fun one because uh, it was also broadcast up with this huge cast so uh, it, it was always sort of like you never knew like am I going to be in assassination classroom this week who knows and then you might get like your own whole episode uh, but it had a great fan response and uh, it's just a really fun show and because the cast is so huge it like there's like this whole little assassination classroom family feel to it <laughs> we're like we're coming back nice um, also what was it like working on data live data live was fun um, because it was one of the first times I got to work on a show with Bryn April, and uh, she and Josh Greeley and I got to do commentary together, and I met her, and she's super nice, and so that's that's usually what I remember about that, was that we were like sister rivals. <laughs> um, if you could be any character that you've played, have any of their physical traits, mental traits, anything, um, and you can mix and match, who do you think you would like to be like? If I could mix and match, huh? Well, I'd like the Supreme Kai of Time's power over time. That'd be great. Um, let's see, like personality traits. I think I might have to borrow uh, from Asuka, from Sinron Kagura, just her can-do positivity. Um, and I'd, I'd probably have the Jack Perona style. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not? <laughs> right? So cute. Um, taking things a little bit darker, how is it working on Gangsta? Gangsta, whoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, it it was kind of intense. Um, it was really cool though, and it was a role. Uh, Alex was just a character that I hadn't really gotten to play before, uh, that specific type. And uh, there was a lot of screaming, a lot of crying, a lot of uh, ghost pimp in that show. <laughs> Eric Vale, ghost pimp. Um, but I really loved the story that it had to tell, and I loved that it was able to bring sort of that darkness without exploitation. Like, yeah. it, it showed that side and then showed that everyone was still just a person mm -hmm. in this circumstance. So um, it was really cool, and I'm really hoping for a season two, because no spoilers, it left you hanging. <sighs> That's what I've heard. It's one I still have to check out myself. I've been yeah. meaning to. Yeah, make it happen. And uh, <laughs> Brandon Potter and Ian Sinclair are fantastic in it as the the Benny Ra boys. So it's pretty good. Definitely have to check it out soon. Um, what was it like working on High School DxD? That one was really fun. That was actually my very first role ever at Funimation. Oh, really? um, I had a, I came in and from my first audition was for DXD. Colleen Clinkenbeard gave me uh, Yuma slash Rainer, um, and so I always look back and remember just how incredibly nervous I was. <laughs> um, but it was really cool for my first outing to get to play sort of both sides of my range, and uh, and it's always fun to be evil. Like 
they, those are the most fun characters, is when they're evil for no particular reason. We hear that a lot from different people. Those are always the most fun to play. It's cathartic because you don't, you can't do that in your normal <laughs> life, you know? Uh, so it's fun to go in and you sort of like get out all of your own personal evil without becoming a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to put it. Um, also, what was it like working on Devil is a Part-Timer? It was so much fun. I always love working with Bevins, who I also worked with for Gangsta. Um, he keeps it light, he keeps it fun. The cast is amazing. Um, we got to do the Inte Eastland... Hi! <laughs> Sorry, we got to do the Inte Eastland language, uh, which was its own little fun challenge. And, uh... Like, I just had a really good time, and I think how much fun we had translates into the dub. I think you can feel it, and I think it's part of why uh, that dub in particular of a lot of the shows that I'm in gets just the most consistently positive response. It's definitely a good one. Um, do you have anything coming out that you can talk about, anything you want to plug at the moment? I know a lot of times you guys have stuff that you can't talk about. Yeah, I got... I don't think I have anything right now that I can talk about. Um, Danganronpa is finally out on DVD. You guys should all go buy Danganronpa the Animation. Um, oh, uh, you can see the entirety of my uh, lead directorial debut on the Funimation website, Sky Wizards Academy. It's my first solo outing. Um, all the other stuff I've been lucky enough to do has been uh, assisting Mike McFarland. Uh, and he, he was tremendously... Uh, helpful and supportive in the process for Sky Wizards, but it was my, my first one all for me, and you should go watch it. <laughs> awesome. You, have, you guys have to go check that one out. Um, is there any way that fans can contact you, interact with you, Facebook, Twitter? Absolutely. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Felicia Angel Voice Actress, and Twitter is at Felicia Angel, and that is F-E-L-E-C-I-A A-N-G-E-L-L-E -L -L -E. It's not my fault my parents named me. I <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Jared, she's Felicia, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>